We can search for the elements we want to insert into the environment by navigating through the elements available in the furniture section of the component bar. They are categorized by style, object type, manufacturer, and collection, so that you can quickly identify the item you are looking for. Let's start from the bathroom cabinet. We click and drag what we have chosen to the desired position and the piece of furniture automatically aligns itself to the wall. This particular piece of furniture includes a specific bathroom basin which is immediately suggested to us, therefore we do not have to waste time looking for it. The bathroom basin can be automatically attached to the piece of furniture in just one click. The same is true for the sinks. The suggestions show the items which belong to the same series of the wash basin that I have chosen, namely the toilet and bidet. The positioning of these objects can be very precise thanks to the dimensions relative to the walls and other nearby objects. Another function that can simplify the work of a designer is the possibility of creating customized baskets. We can choose as many items as we want and we can fill them with the objects we use more often or those chosen by our client. Even after positioning the shower floor, other shower floors of the correct size are suggested to us, which otherwise we would have to look for among the many available. Even the taps and fittings are positioned in the correct points with a click, as well as the shower head and the flush panel. Placing furniture elements can also be done by 3D navigation. Here, we also have the Gizma mode, which allows for a more precise movement along the three Cartesian axes. Now, let's create a plaster ceiling in the shower area. To do this, there are different methods. The simplest is to draw the shape on the wall elevation and then create the object giving it the desired depth. We will see shortly how to add the final touches and some spotlights.